What's going on all my YouTube buddies? I'm Jacob with another movie review for you guys and welcome to another installment in my pre-1980 classic review series where I do two or three classic movies a month prior to the release of 1980 with a specific theme. This month in April I am taking a look at the classic Man With No Name trilogy starting off with the first release 1964's a Fistful of Dollars. So A Fistful of Dollars was released in 1964. This movie was very much a breakthrough. This did help revolutionize westerns going down a darker and grittier path of its spaghetti western approach. This movie launched actor Clint Eastwood to international superstardom with his iconic role of the man with no name and the success of this movie spawned the man with no name trilogy this film was directed by Sergio Leone who directed all three films he also directed the equally epic Western once upon a time in the West and I do have a classic review of that as well which I'll leave in the link to the playlist down in the description below. So what do I think of A Fistful of Dollars? Let's find out together. So in the film, when a streetly blue-eyed mercenary arrives in a dusty border town where two rival bands of smugglers terrorize the impoverished citizens, he pits the gangs against each other in one of the most exhilarating frontier adventure films in cinema history. Interesting trivia is the fact that A Fistful of Dollars is technically a remake. This movie is actually a westernized remake of a samurai film called Yojimbo which was directed by Akira Kurosawa which a lot of the, his samurai films did greatly inspire westerns for example Seven Samurai inspired The Magnificent Seven. And A Fistful of Dollars, I do enjoy it when they take samurai films and take those angles and take it into the western approach. I do find that pretty cool. I have seen both films and I think I enjoy Fistful of Dollars a little more. I think this story, I think it's just a lot more grittier and raw with a western setting. And you got Clint Eastwood in there who is just awesome as Man With No Name in his breakout role. Clint Eastwood carries the entire film on his shoulders and he is completely excellent throughout you know very little about this character. He's very mysterious. All you know is he has a hat, a poncho, he chews a cigar. He just commands the scenery and you don't want to mess with him and he gets stuff done. Like he does a lot of dirty work in this movie like in getting these gangs against each other the way he manipulates them and works behind the scenes. He does quite a bit of dirty stuff like he kidnaps women to make them believe that they kidnapped them and it's crazy what he does to get rid of these rival gangs and it is pretty entertaining to watch because of that. It's got great cinematography. I love the score in this film from Ennio Morricone. The scores in all three of these movies are excellent and they get better and better with each film. This score is pretty awesome. You definitely feel like you are in this world and it definitely feels connected to this cool kick butt tough as nails character and I love the technical stuff of this movie and you can see that Sergio Leone had something with this story and then when that movie did so well he got to improve upon the character in the next film and even more in the final film and you definitely get to see a natural progression of a director and actor's talent working together in these three movies and it's a really neat start in this film and it was fun watching A Fistful of Dollars and seeing just the cool western approach to this movie and seeing how grimy the world is and how everything is lived in and you get to see some like dark and gritty decisions made in this film and I can see how like these movies especially this first movie and greatly inspired The Mandalorian and how it handles its lore and its western influenced genre fusing and even Pedro Mescal as Mandalorian himself has a little bit of Clint Eastwood in him. I, did, I found that very interesting revisiting A Fistful of Dollars. Now 
I do think this is the weakest in the trilogy. I think each one gets better and better. In fact, when I rewatched this film, I didn't enjoy it as when the first time I saw it. I think I do notice a lot of bit of the technical faults of the time, like the dubbing in this film is atrocious. It is laughably bad at times. I think that's an issue in all three, but it's the most notable in Fistful of Dollars. Like you can tell, like. The actors they use obviously were not speaking the English language, a lot of them, and so, yeah, whoever did the dubbing did not match with the actors who were actually saying these lines. It is very distracting, and there are some unintentionally hilarious moments in the film as well, especially from this little boy. This little boy, like, the dubbing on that kid is atrocious. <laughs> uh, the movie does get dark at times, though, like, the beginning of the film, like, the one of the gangs is shooting at that same little boy, and I was like, 1964, this is crazy. Another issue I have with the film is I don't really care for any of the two rival gangs. The other movie's building up that these two gangs are ruthless, and they do messed up things in this film, but they are pretty one-note bad guys, and I don't really care for either side, and the only thing that makes it worthwhile is Clint Eastwood part in manipulating the two and that's a big detriment to the film I think because I don't care for either one I don't find the characters that memorable and they don't really do much aside from a couple shocker things that really stand out and I do find that a little frustrating but at the end of the day Fistful of Dollars is a classic this movie helped revolutionize a new wave of westerns so I think the Hollywood Western was starting to fade out. The classic Hollywood Westerns that Sergio Leone fought were very cheesy. And so he decided to revolutionize the genre, take it in a different, grittier approach. And people loved it. Which is weird because reception at the time, there were critics who thought this film was a parody of Westerns, apparently. I think Italian critics were more harsh on the film than of the American audiences who loved it. And so, obviously the reception grew over time and Sergio Leone got to make an excellent trilogy. Where, again, each one gets better and better as the trilogy goes along. It's definitely one of those cases where each one got better and better, much like the Lord of the Rings trilogy. This is a good start for a great trilogy. It's fun seeing the groundwork for what was to come, Sergio Leone's big masterwork magnum opus film, which I'll get to with Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. This is a solid first entry. I love Clint Eastwood in this film. His mule monologue especially is fantastic. I love the score. I love the grimy cinematography. I love how brutal this movie gets, although Spaghetti Sauce's blood is pretty hilarious. I will admit that. That's the one issue I do take with the brutality. Is, yeah, the blood in here is laughably bad, which is actually Spaghetti Sauce. I guess that's where they get the term Spaghetti Western. Regardless, still a fun movie. I did highly enjoy rewatching this film. I can't wait to revisit the other two films in the trilogy. And as for A Fistful of Dollars, I'm giving it a 4 out of 5 stars. And on the 100 point scale, it's getting a 78 out of 100. So that wraps up my review of A Fistful of Dollars as part of my pre-1980 classic review series where two or three times a month I review classic movies with a specific theme to shed some more light on some classic reviews released prior to 1980. Not too many of these films are talked about on YouTube. And I wanted to shed some light on some of the great classic films that pave way to the great films that we know and love today. I'll leave a link in the description below for my playlist of all the classic reviews I've done. I have a wide variety of classic reviews on my channel. And so if you're a fan of classic cinema, check the link in the description below to see more. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of future classic reviews. Next up is the second film in the Man With No Name trilogy for a few dollars more. Definitely look forward to that video coming very, very soon. But if you've seen A Fistful of Dollars, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the film. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. 
click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it to be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, besides movie reviews, I also do TV reviews, trailer reactions, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!